Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the concept of auto scaling, guys. In the last lecture, we discussed about vertical as well as horizontal scaling, right? Yes. So this auto scaling is also a bit similar to it, but this concept is really interesting, guys, because in real time, we most companies like top notch companies use this, guys. That is the main reason why the servers will never be slow. So did you observe any time the Google server a bit slow? No, never, right? Amazon, no. So even there are many sales also, they'll, they will never be slow, right? Because of the concept of auto scaling, guys. The main thing which they use in the back end is this concept only. Okay, yes. So it is a cloud computing technology for dynamic or some way of allocating computation resources. So basically here you will give some limitations guys. Okay, so let us take this as an example. Okay, so in Amazon web services, so in EC2, sorry for that guys. Okay, so in EC2, we are having this future guys of auto scaling. So when you create an EC2 instance, it will have some minimum requirements guys, like how much GB of RAM, how much GB of everything. Okay, yes. So we'll be considering this EC2 instances as a single item guys. Okay, yes. So you will be giving the minimum number of items and the maximum number of items guys okay to scale up or scale down so whenever there is a traffic it will move from minimum to maximum okay so whenever there is no mat no traffic it will move from maximum to minimum so in this way automatically the ec2 instances will be enabled and disabled as per the requirement so based on the load of traffic these things will decide guys so this concept is nothing but auto scaling so here we are not doing it manually nor we are doing it fixed like fixed things so here we are doing it dynamically you can say again there are three types in it also so don't worry we'll be discussing them okay yes so each asg so this is nothing but auto scaling group guys so this whole thing okay so each asg can have any number of ec2s instances but we can give two values that is nothing but minimum and maximum so minimum indicates the minimum number of ec2 instances dedicated to the application so this application will need minimum of two instances okay similarly maximum of maximum number of instances that is nothing but the maximum till where you can reach so basically if the traffic is overloaded like even you ex you didn't expect that much traffic at that time the server will be slow but until the server is not slow it will give you the best performance guys okay yes so we are having three types of scaling options guys okay okay so the first type is a manual the second is a scheduled the third is a dynamic okay so manual is nothing but you as a user you will change the things based on your requirement so you know that today the server will be really busy as there are some result announcement or any kind of ticket booking or something so so at that time you will manually scale up your device so that concept Sorry, that concept is nothing but your manual scaling. Similarly, scheduled scaling. So scheduled scaling is something like, you know when the traffic will be high guys. So if you know the load pattern, like at what time the traffic will be high, at what time the traffic will be low. So if you know those concepts, you can use this scheduled scaling. So here the instances will be increased as per your required thing. So you can say with respect to days, so with respect to time, with respect to hours, anything. Similarly, dynamic. So dynamic means we don't know any pattern or anything. So you will be saying you will be giving you the minimum and you will give the maximum. So based on the traffic level, dynamically, automatically the instances will be selected. Got it? Yes. So the major advantage of this thing is fault tolerance will be proper. Guys. Because if one e EC2 instance is not working, this will be turned off and some other EC2 instance can be turned on, right? Yes. So the fault tolerance is completely resolved. And the availability is 24 by 7 by 365 days and it is 99.99% available. Okay. And the cost will be low when compared to having those instances in real time. Okay. Yes. So I hope everyone got some clear idea about this uh, uh, auto scaling, right? Yes. So now we are done with the scaling concepts, guys. In the next lecture, we'll be discussing about the capacity planning, guys. Okay. Yes. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.